morning and welcome back to the channel. Um, today, I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to go down to the beach. I'm going to take a look at the conditions. We've had three days of rain. Um, there's sargasm covering the beach. I've seen uh, some videos of folks shooting June grass and that's my concern is that um, with as much sargasm as on the beach, I'm hoping that that situation may have passed. And uh, But if there's June grass, then we're gonna have to go to plan B, which is probably going either inshore somewhere or going to appear. Yeah. I don't know, folks. Due to the conditions at the beach, I want to kind of cover some of the equipment. Maybe a good uh, cover what, what I use. I see at the beach. So if you're traveling down for a weekend, this type of part makes a lot of sense because it folds up. You can see it's retractable. Just pull up in the middle and the accordions. You can carry it easy. And you can put enough equipment in it, you know, for what you need to do. I have my sand flea rake. I have an equipment bag. I can put a lot of equipment in that bucket. I don't have a lot in it right now. I can carry my rod holders. I got two rods in there. I can put a bag chair or something on the top of that and then you know that'll get me down to the beach. Um, the only problem that I hear people talk about who are using these on the beach is that these wheels once you get on the beach you have a lot of weight on it um, they're gonna dig in <laughs> it's gonna be kind of like uh, dragging a dead body through the sand. So that's one one way you know of uh, Getting on the beach relatively inexpensively. You know, I, I have my sand spikes here. I can put a bag chair on top of it, uh, put an umbrella, and um, as long as it doesn't get too heavy, this is this is fairly light as it's as it's uh, done. You know, it doesn't, doesn't lay anything hardly. But you know, once you get in the sand, maybe a little bit different story. So let's take a look next. This is a fishing mate senior. It's got um, eight rod holders. I use one of the rod holders as a bait station. I use another rod holder uh, for equipment in my bucket. I use two of the rod holders as levers. So as I'm pushing it down the beach, because this doesn't lift, it just pushes. I use these levers to, to steer it. And these are just old poles of equipment that I don't have anymore <laughs> that's stuck in there um, so I can carry my sand flea rake multiple rods I don't you know if I wanted to put another uh, pole here I could do that and then I have all of my um, sand spikes you can put a cooler in there uh, fishing fishing gear I have a table I have an umbrella a pretty good sized chair and you know this gets a lot of looks going on the beach. When I bought it, it wasn't like this. Uh, the tires were a lot like the first cart that I showed you. They were plastic. There was a handle here that I lifted with and, and it just was like dragging a body down the beach. And this, this made my life much simpler. I bought one, one axle, put it on, uh, replaced the, the plastic wheels with these orange wheels. Um, it was good, but I was still lifting, so it was still kind of wearing me out a little bit. So I put the second axle on. And now, you know, it just pushes and it glides real easy. And you probably, if you've been on the beach and you've heard a fisherman coming, you recognize that squeaking noise. <laughs> this is the sand hopper. Um, electric beach wagons, you can see right here, is the company. Uh, and I'm going to just put it over here to kind of highlight what I have. And then it's as easy as flipping a switch and blocking it. So I've kind of loaded this guy down um, with sand spikes. I have three on here. I can have six sand spikes. I have a cooler. It's actually a bait station, but I, I can also have my um, ghost shrimp pump on there. Um, I have two buckets. I don't use the bucket holder from the other on here in one of the slots because I can just put them there. 
I got two chairs. Usually my wife joins me at the beach, so I'll have two chairs, an umbrella. Um, right now I got eight fishing poles. I can have as many as 12. I do use the bait station from the other part on here. Um, here's my equipment box. There's all my weights, hooks, lines, sinkers. I have an equipment bag that's got lures, um, mostly spoons and things like that that I can cast um, out off the beach. And uh, so that's uh, that's the bad boy right there. That's the one that gets all the looks when it goes down the beach. The other one, congestion number two, the fishing mate, got a lot of looks and comments. People would actually applaud as I walk by. People walk by this and they go, oh my gosh, it's electric. So this is an upgrade, and the things I upgraded were the wheels. The, st the stock on their card is a 12-inch wheelies, and I think they have all-terrain too. So you can get um, you can get wheels that <coughs> aren't necessarily designed for the sand. These are specific for sand, the wheelies. Um, so these are 16-inch wheelies. Another upgrade was the safe that I talked about earlier. The rails on the side are an upgrade it comes with single rail so instead of being two levels it would just be one level so those are all the upgrades that i did um you know i'm not going to talk about pricing because i'm sure it probably has changed because of the supply chain right now uh but you can go online and he has different sizes this is the this is not the biggest cart he makes this is the next biggest cart on on the website 